Joining us now is Ward Alcock, who served as CSIS director for 10 years from 1994 to 2004, served a number of defense and intelligence roles as well. Uh, Mr. Alcock, thank you for joining us this evening. It's a pleasure. Uh, can you put this into context for us first and foremost? How serious is this action for agents of India to kill a Canadian citizen on Canadian soil? Uh, this is a this is very serious, and if if indeed true, um, uh, th to my knowledge, it hasn't happened in Canada. I guess unless you go back to well, it wasn't necessarily a foreign agent, but uh, but the assassination of. Uh, uh, a, a Canadian politician back in the, the early days of Canada by the Athenians. Um, uh, it's pretty serious. Pretty serious, as you say. But, you know, I'm wondering as to the why here. Why would India do this? You know, the calls for an independent Khalistan is not new. Why target and kill uh, Hardeep Singh Najjar? Uh, there gets starts to get more complicated, and and uh, that's a question that nobody is talking about at this point in time, and the prime minister hasn't mentioned either. And that question is, to what extent have groups in Canada uh, become too active in in uh, supporting uh, an independent Khalistan? Uh, remember, it is the uh, Pakistan. It is uh, sorry, uh, uh, Sikh terrorists who brought down Air India and led a couple of other attacks uh, in Canada. So there is a history in this country of uh, Sikh extremism uh, verging into terrorism. Um, to what extent uh, there was uh, a drive behind the inaction, which doesn't make the Indian action excusable, uh, but was it because well, there is a question there whether it was this action was taken because we have not we have been insufficiently strict on dealing with extremists in this country uh, who the Indians regard as terrorists. Now there's a that can get complicated because one man's terrorist is not necessarily another man's terrorist, um, and the Indians may have a much broader definition of a terrorist than we we would in this case. So you need some evidence either way. Uh, as to what actually uh, was going on here. But it's not a simple question of uh, the, the Indians. The, 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 clearly, this is an un unacceptable act, but we do need to make sure that um, uh, there isn't a Canadian role here and that we aren't tolerating um, uh, a terrorist group operating from Canada. Now, the Prime Minister says that he has already uh, talked with Indian authorities. We heard from uh, Melanie Jolie, the, the Foreign Affairs Minister, earlier today. Uh, Canada has expelled uh, an Indian diplomat from this country. But really, what more can Canada do here? How free are we to respond if efforts to find partners beyond China in our Indo-Pacific strategy include India? Well, that will make that decision very much more difficult. Uh, and it may get even more complicated because the Indians may not be prepared to uh, uh, to be very helpful in that uh, in that regard in the next for the the next while. Uh, so it it may be that our uh, Indo-Pacific strategy craters for the moment uh, until some rapprochement is reached between Canada and India. But this is this is I said is a very serious act, and it it will have serious implications uh, for those policy uh, initiatives. Now, uh, we're quickly running out of time, but I do want to ask you, because over the summer, Mr. Najjar's killing, that sparked protests around the world. Uh, we saw protests in Toronto, Melbourne, London, San Francisco. How quickly could this descend with, with the news now being shared by, by Ottawa? What does the federal government need to be ready for here? Uh, the, that's a question that the security service will probably have uh, some information about uh, whether there are groups that are sufficiently motivated by learning that the Indians may have been behind this uh, to actually launch some sort of attack in in Canada on on Indians, and it wouldn't be the first time that uh, Sikh extremists have done that uh, in Canada. Um, uh, so they will clearly be on guard for that and and clearly be watching that. It would not be in our interest for there to be an attack on Indian diplomats here in Canada as a consequence of this action. Ward Alcock, thank you for this. I appreciate you coming and joining our program so quickly this evening. Not a problem.